Hey guys, welcome back again. Today we're going to show you the Alpine Type X12, the SCAR EVL12, and the JL Audio W6 12. They're all the same woofers, same size. And we're just going to take a closer look at them. So as you can see, the W6 is the smallest. The EVL, the SCAR Audio, is the middle. And the largest is the Type X. I think they all have about the same magnet structure. You can obviously see the JL Audio is a little bit smaller. But the SCAR and the Alpine are about the same size for magnet and motor wise. These are all, these are all D2 or uh, D4, all dual four ohm or dual four ohm uh, voice coils. So they all run at two ohms and eight ohms. So let's just take a. This thing is a monster, I'll tell you. Like sound quality wise, this is definitely. I mean, but it's it costs five hundred dollars now. Now, this one here is $200 brand new, $500 brand new. And this one right here is, this model is now discontinued. They make the V3 version now. And I believe that one's about six or 700 And this one was the same price when this came out. So you're looking at a $600 sub, $200 sub, $500 sub. Now, if I were to have the money to put one of these subs in my car, I would probably go with the SCAR audio. For air movement, it moves the most air. For sound, it produces the best sound out of the three of these. I don't want to shoot this one down either because this one does make a nice sound, but you could buy almost three of these for one of these. So comparatively speaking, I would definitely buy this over this. Uh, if you look at the, you can just easily look at the surround. And the surround on the W6 is very small. The, one, the V3 is not much bigger. I mean, it's about the same size. They just improved a little bit on some of the things. I think they made the... Instead of the foam surround, treated surround, they made it a, a rubber surround. This one's a rubber surround, and this has a rubber surround. So if you want to look at the voice coils now, let's see if we can get some more light here. Now see if you see what they did with the, the spider. The spider is raised, which allows, I believe it allows more movement. The spider is also woven into, or the leads are woven into the spider. Now, this one, let's see here. The leads are woven on top of the spider. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Let's get, there we are. The leads are woven on top of the spider, and this one, the leads are not even on the spider. They put the leads straight from the coil in there, right up over the spider, and right into this little distribution box here. That's how you do the voice coils. You put the negative to negative, positive to positive. You can also pull these two and run this D4 at 8 ohms. And this one's fairly easy. You know, you have the terminals there and opposite end you have the terminals. Now the biggest pain here, if you can see this, now if you lose these little fuses, you're gonna have to run your coils inside the little screw holes here. So wire to wire, wire to wire and then you run your speaker wire down here and these little fuses pop out 
So this right now is run to two ohms. And if you pull these both and put it right in the center there, and put, you're gonna put one in the center, so you're gonna have one extra. You're running at eight ohms. Right now it's wired at two ohms. So guys, all in all, out of these three subs, these are pretty much the best of what's on the market for commercial subs, for uh, you know competition, for everyday driver, whatever might have you. I would definitely go with the Scar Audio, price-wise, sound-wise, air movement-wise. This sub is, they made something above the rest. And this is just their mid-grade version. I mean, if you want to spend three, four hundred dollars, you're going to get the top of the line. The sub's probably, you know, it's got three or four magnets. The magnets are bigger. I wish I could bring my Rockford Fosgate T2 in, but that one's currently in my car. So guys, if you want to hit the like button, that would be cool. We appreciate your support. Subscribe to our channel. We're going to have much more videos coming. And we hope to see you soon in our upcoming videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And we also have a Facebook. I can put the link up somewhere on our channel. It's Base Heads of Massachusetts up on Facebook. You're welcome to join. It's a public site. We're just going to talk about car audio and maybe I can get some local enthusiasts to get together. And we can all talk about car audio in, in the public. Show off our systems, get together. Maybe sell, maybe trade. We'll see what happens. But we'll see you at Base Heads of Massachusetts on Facebook. And Subs and Paws with a Z on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.